fresh out of a shower and ready for the shave of the day. Come on, let's have one. I am ready because I have double the amount of razors. <laughs> well, no, they're different. This one is the Gillette New. That's what they called it. I'm not saying it's a new razor, but it was a, a classic called the Gillette New. And uh, it's an awesome razor. It came out in 1932, I believe. In fact, it may look really shiny and nice. And you're thinking, wow, he's really cleaned that up. No. This one came from the original owner himself. He bought it himself in 1932. And I got it off of him recently. Isn't that awesome? This one, however, is very similar but this one is the Otto Roth. It's a nice, nice razor. Today I'm going to be using some K Shave Works. This is Bumble Nuts. <laughs> Bumble Nuts Honey Almond and uh, it smells really nice. I'm going to check it out and see how it works. I did read up on it and it said that uh, you do need to uh, put some water in it and let it bloom a little bit. So. This one is filled, it's a sample filled with water and blooming a little bit. And right now I'm going to put on some pre-shave. My pre-shave today is Shea Moisture Shave. Shea is in Shea Butter. This is Three Butters Beard Softener and um, smells really nice. Fairly thick, just a quarter size dollop should be enough. I have a uh, a three day stubble going today. I was going to thin my beard. I, I normally keep this beard thinned out, but uh, today, no, I can't. Um, actually, I'm too busy. Got a, uh, a shower to go to. Thought you just had a shower. <laughs> I did. This is one of those uh, wedding showers. Yeah, my daughter is uh, getting married April 24th, and that's right around the corner. I'm going to be using uh, an awesome blade, or at least I was told it was awesome, by a buddy. It's called Supermax Stainless. These are made in India, and uh, it looks to be a, a fairly nice blade. Honestly, I have never used it before, but... It does look nice and uh, looks very sharp and we will try it out put it right inside there one thing about it this one you can tighten it up just a bit and it doesn't really tighten down the blade that bad I, a lot of razors where you have to tighten them down it, it bows the blade not this one, not as bad, let me say that. Let me preface that by saying not as badly as others. Um, a little bit of a mail call for the wife. I got her this Lady Gillette Blue, um, the Lady Gillette Blue Ultra, I believe is, I think that's what that's called. Ultra Star. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's it. And it's an adjustable, of course, twist to open, like new condition. I was amazed by this one. But I was also amazed along with this one. This is a twist to open. This is the Micromatic by Jim, G-E-M. There you have it. I have some blades on order where I can try out the single edge razors. I have two now. And the little travel tech. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Nice. And the lady did have this reversed on the bottom. So that shows me she didn't know much about it. Thus the fantastic price I got on all three. And I'm very thankful. I'm going to be using my Old Spice mug today. Courtesy of my buddy Jason Moore. He sent me this a while back. I really love it. And right now... I'm smelling of the bumble nuts. <laughs> this is uh, very close. Look at that. It's 
even starting to lather. This is very close, I would say, to my Taylor of Old Bond Street scent that I have, which is an awesome scent. It also reminds me of something my mom used to use years ago. Remember Jurgen's hand lotion? <laughs> I think that scent is spot on, if you ask me. It truly is. <laughs> And this is my brush today. This is my Dennis Coluccio special. I love this one. Hand turned with beautiful material from Tom Stone, my buddy Tom Stone and Beyond Wood Products. This is a silver tip badger, number one. I didn't have time to get the hairs really soaking, so it's uh, not quite as full of a loft or not whatever you want to call it. So that's okay. I'm just going to use the tips like this and try and load just the tips of this brush. See uh, what type of success I have off of this sample from K Shave Works. This is uh, the first opportunity I've had to sample any of their soaps. So I'm looking forward to finding out exactly how it does. The scent is spot on. I like that. Sort of a, it's supposed to be like a honey almond scent. And it is. Actually, it's more, I would say, a more noticeable, more outstanding, what's the word? Um, it's a little stronger in scent, if you ask me, than uh, the Taylor of Old Bond Street almond is so that's a good thing all right just going to uh, put the brush in this and drop a little bit of water in on top and stir it around and see what kind of lather we come up with I mean it did come to a quick lather as you saw earlier just by applying the bloom water to my face and it's whipping up a nice lather inside right now. So I just will uh, do a little bit of lathering on the face. Nice. It is definitely a, a stronger scent than Taylor of Old Bond Street. And their almond. Nice. Going to add just a little bit more water right into the cup. Stir it just a bit. Add a little bit more. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> you really have to uh, adjust your lather accordingly, you know, with any soap you're using because the water ratio along with the brush that you're using all of that is going to be uh, dependent upon what type of lather you get no matter the soap that's what I've come to find out and this one is really nice very good lather I'm not, uh, not used to using a, a double edge razor lately. I've been using the straights and I love them. But I want to give uh, a little swap up, a little change. That's what life's all about. Right? <laughs> Trying new things. And here we, we go. <laughs> okay, I want to make sure I get the right razor because I've got them both lying here and one has a blade and the other doesn't so I don't <laughs> I don't want to be shaving with a razor without a blade, right? 
Nice. First time I've used this, by the way. I don't want to cut into my beard, so I'm going to wipe that off just a bit there. I like using the comb type razors for this type of trim. That way you can uh, really get a good uh, judge of what you're trimming around. I am uh, sort of mixed on the, the blade that I'm using. I'm not sure if I, I really like it or not. I've, I've used sharper blades, I will say that. And I don't think it has anything to do with the razor. First time I've ever used these blades. They are the Supermax Stainless. You guys ever use these? Made in India. Let me know what you think. Yeah. I found them on eBay. But it was a package deal, so. I got to try others as well. And I like that. I like being able to sample other blades. Okay. Gonna lather again. This is really a good scent. If you are are an almond kind of guy, K Shave Works and Bumble Nuts, <laughs> Honey Almond. It does smell good. And I apologize for saying earlier that uh, it was comparable to tailor of old bond street because it's not it's better and i am a pro tailor of old bond street fan way early on in my wet shaving curious if that blade is bowed I'm going to uh, loosen it just a bit just where it's just sits snug and see how it does with a three-day beard you know it's going to have to do some cutting And that seems to be dragging. So I'm going to tighten it just back up to where it's normally tight. I think that's better. Do an upward pass here. Yeah. Much, much better. The weekend is here. It's nice outside. I've got the windows open. Sort of enjoying it for a change. It's been so gloomy lately. It really has.
my wife wanted a uh, a longer handle than some of the ones that I've got. So I started looking and several people suggested and this is the one I got her. I like that. Maybe I should have used that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with that. That was a good shave. I'm finished. Not a nick or cut. Pretty good shave. Right here I always get a lot of extra growth. Little bitty handles. But great razor. I'll have to say that is a very nice razor indeed. I like it. I'm going to have a cold rinse today. Ooh. Since I'm still sort of warm from being in the shower. So that feels nice. All right, now as far as, uh, I've got like a, see this? This is what I like about these razors. Watch this. Just drag it over. And that's it. You can even trim the wild hairs, I call them, from your beard. Just lightly drag it. Don't get carried away. Keep rinsing your, your blade off, though. And that's what I do when I don't have time to break out the beard trimmer. Because I'm sort of busy today. There you go, look at that. Just sort of lightly drag it across the, the tops. That's one reason I like these, the comb through. Nice. Very good. Awesome shave, folks. And nice little trim. <laughs> I'm going to be using Madame Spodioli. You ever heard of that? Madame Spo uh, Scodioli, rather. Madame Scodioli and Dust Shaker. Shake well, it says. A good buddy, Guy Solace. Denver, Colorado. He uh, sent me this a while back, and it, along with a couple of other of my uh, small particles that were in my shave den, such as this, they got pushed off into the back part of my shave den. My soap collection fell off in the corner and then behind the cabinet into the floor. So I didn't know what happened. I didn't think about it. So I didn't get to use this right after guy sent it to me. I, I mean, it splashed on a little bit, but that's it. Madame Scodioli. She has her own shop on uh, Etsy. Uh, last I checked, she didn't have this one available any longer. But she may now, I'm not sure. It smells nice. I'm not sure what that is. Dust Shaker from Madame Scodioli. Thank you, Guy. Awesome. 
And I'm going to throw on just a little bit of CeraVe moisturizing lotion for your face. This is a, a nice skin moisturizer. It rejuvenates, revitalizes, does everything that you need it to do. If you are a wet shaver, if you've ever seen the uh, product, more than likely you were in a high dollar salon or something like that. But uh, I think Walmart has begun carrying that product recently. Not, not positive, don't quote me on it. And that is it. You better believe it. I've reached whole status, baby. Hoodin' <laughs> hoodin'. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you being there. Get out, get your shave on, and pass along the hobby of wet shaving to someone else. Pay it forward every chance you get. Okay? Thanks again. Get out and have some fun. You might as well. You only live once. Peace. Thank you.